And I'm not complaining. I'm just telling you, you know how spiritual it is. If you have any doubt, when you actually get up front with these people, you, it starts getting weird, okay? I mean, let me tell you, they come out from under rocks, okay? They're ghouls. They love that their temple right down the road from me, two miles away, where they're killing all those babies. And, and when you face them, down at the Texas Capitol two years ago, they had Christians there praying. And just women came out of their offices and came all over and just in, in dresses and suits and started going, hail Satan, hail Satan. Blah. I mean, there's the video and the state police are like, and they're like, Bleh. I mean, it was a demonic event, folks. They're, they're, this stuff's real, okay? You start trying to save the kids and we're that close to it, they come out from under rocks. And, and, and I've always been a Christian, folks, but let me tell you, fighting evil, point blank, it'll get you real close to God real fast because... It's the only place you get any solace from that chill that goes up your spine. And God puts his hand around his shoulder and says, it's all right. And then so many doors open up, but you've got to know, folks, this is real. And so we need your financial support more than ever to be strong against the enemy and to be able to really take action. We need you to buy the books, buy the videos, buy the nutraceuticals, free shipping on orders of $50 or more, 15% off. We're extending it for till Wednesday and then it's over. X2, the good halogen. Uh, the, the true pure iodine with the super male vitality that's just known concentrated herbs that, you know, help your body uh, be more natural. They've got all these chemicals in the food and water suppressing us. Your purchases make it all possible, but so many times I've got to spend time I could be spending on media and, and, and getting the word out, and I'm not complaining, fiddling around trying to get funds, fiddling around with accounting, trying to figure out how to be able to move forward as a good steward, and it'll make it a lot easier for us to withstand things and be strong in this fight uh, if you supply us the fuel to put in the tank to get the job done. Or, I, or I, It's like the food for the body of this organization to be able to be strong and fortified and do this. So we have amazing products, a lot of big specials, InfoWarsStore.com, InfoWarsLife.com, or 888-253-3139. And finally, we also have the great four-stage water filters that have the really fast flow for your showers, uh, this is the best unit yet. We still sell the other units. They're a little bit less. They're not as good. Uh, but that's what I used before was the other system. Now there's something better. We've got that. Pro Pure, Pro Max. Uh, just absolutely amazing what you breathe in and what goes through your skin, folks. So uh, you can trust the government and take showers in it all day and drink it and, you know, enjoy the glyphosates and the rest of it. If I was you, I would do this. And it's a win-win. We sell a high-quality product at a very good price. Free shipping, 10% off promo code WATER. And it funds our operation. It's a win-win. Infowarsstore.com. But again, I want to encourage you to go to atla.org and also support what Pastor David Manning is doing. Uh, and, and in fact, I've been doing accounting and looking at things I'm going to be involved in, and I'm going to give some money to the Salvation Army. So I know they do a good job. I'm going to give some money to Pastor Manning. And, and I think I'm, and I, I wasn't going to announce this, but, but but I am because I think people should do it as well. I'm going to give money uh, to the police department out in California, the police officer. Uh, that got killed uh, when he was uh, going after a guy that had actually been here in town saying he was going to get me. Uh, and, and and I'm also going to give money to the Austin Police Department for the fallen officers um, there as well. Not because the police are perfect. They got big problems and there's a fight for their soul going on. But because we're not going to single people out because of what bad cops do. And we're going to think about the people that have laid their lives down to protect the rest of us. And that's why I want to single out what Pastor Manning and countless others have done. Guaranteed risk in his life going up against Al Sharpton. And this isn't about praise here, folks. It's about realizing everybody likes to watch war movies or watch football or all this fake manly stuff. This is the real fight right now for America and the world happening. Now, I'm ranting. I want to go to calls. We have Astro Manning's with us 15, 20 minutes the next hour. Uh, but getting into the place we are in history, what's happening, what you expect to come, what you think of Trump uh, since the last time we talked to you, and what in your gut you think is coming uh, next, uh, Pastor Manning. Um, Alex, before I get to Trump um, and uh, the Sanders, um, I, I want to point out that we, we were successful in taking down Al Sharpton. And a month or so after that, we got a, a letter from our insurance company. Uh, we have a group package that covers, we do a lot of things, schools, education, teachers, ministers, property, the whole works. Um, but we also had a segment of that group policy that we had that covered our professional uh, work that we do, such as my announcing as well. And they have threatened to cancel, and they've given us a cancellation date, not on our other policy, but on the aspect of the policy of what I do in terms of my public life, in terms of this, what we're doing right now by broadcasting 
And, and they had covered us nicely for the last few years. We've been broadcasting now for, for about a decade. Uh, but the, the fight is getting more intense. And, and what's going to happen now we get dropped by a carrier, a carrier insurance carrier, our premiums are going to go through the roof to get someone to cover us in the event that somebody like Al Sharpton decides to take out a suit against us, or Obama, or anybody that we speak about, or Black Lives Matter. Anyone who would take a mind to challenge us in courts on the things that we say on the air or whatever, uh, we now have to find a very pricey insurance company that's going to cost us a lot of bucks. So I thought I would say that in the event that people don't realize that those are some of the things that you have to encounter going forward. Now, having said that, uh, 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 as far as Trump is concerned, I believe in Trump. Um, uh, Alex, I just believe, uh, I believe the man. I just do. I, I, I think he loves America. I've sat in meetings with him and I've watched him. I've watched, I've talked to people that are close to him. Michael Cohen is one of the persons that's very tro close to Trump. And uh, I believe, one of the things that you, the Bible says you can judge a, a tree by his fruit. Well, one of the things that Trump is doing, he's upsetting the entire roster of political pundits, media. None of them are his friends. All of them are against him, which says to me that he's not playing ball with any of them. Because once they start playing ball, being paid off, Etc. They all kind of coalesce to get together and they go out to dinner at those fancy French restaurants in Georgetown and drink cognac and smoke those expensive Havana cigars. And then they get on the Congress floor and they say they're fighting one another. That's not Trump. Trump, they, they're all after him. That within itself says to me that the man is real. And I would urge everybody else, if you want to see this nation uh, set free uh, and, and a leader, a true leader, Vote Trump. That, that's why I'm at with Trump. I am very sad that Rand Paul has blasted him as power-hungry, delusional, fake conservative narcissist. Rand Paul was on just two weeks ago. I think he would make a great president, but I think his attacking Trump early on is one of the main reasons he lost his support to a great extent. But I guess my advice didn't get through to him. And I was one of the people that he told me on the phone was actually twisted his arm into running for Senate. He didn't really think he could win, and I told him I would support him. The media has made a big deal out of that, but <coughs> I do owe it to him to be just frank with him. And when he jumps on this bandwagon, all that does is tie him to the mainstream media. And I, and I always told him and others, I said, the yeah. only way to destroy yourself... Yeah is to be seen as part of the establishment. That's why they now go on the news and go, Trump says he's with the establishment. No, Trump said, now I've got the establishment calling me, and I'm not going to listen to him. They spun that, that he's part of the establishment now, when you see all the establishment money lined up against him. Right, right, absolutely. <laughs> and a house divided against itself cannot succeed. So uh, it's clear that they are against him. And I would say of Rand Paul, you know, he can repent. He can turn around. And because uh, I think Rand Paul could probably be good in a Trump administration. I do. I think he has some qualities that will be, that will be helpful uh, to the nation and the world. So, a poly I mean, he can, back, he can walk all that back. Uh, and, and then become productive for all of us, I think. Well, I learned the inside baseball. These guys have played golf a bunch, had dinner together. Um, Trump never attacked him. Let, 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 let Paul attack him for months before he did anything. And, and he, he said that, you know, Rand Paul's a great golfer uh, and, the, and that he liked him. Uh, and I just don't know why he got the advice to go after Trump. Uh, and I, and I, he's, he's just doubled down. In fact, let's play a clip of that. And then I'm going to play a Louis Farrakhan clip here. Uh, let's go to this clip where... Uh, Rand Paul blasts Trump as power-hungry, delusional, fake conservative narcissist. Here it is. No, I think uh, sometimes narcissists have delusions, and I think he's almost to the point of being delusional about his own power. But what I worry about that is there is a distinct American tradition that I represent that says too much power gravitating into the hands of anyone is a mistake, Republican or Democrat. So we believe in a presidency limited by the Constitution. I think that Donald Trump believes in no limits to power as long as it's coming to him. That's very, very worrisome to us. And I think conservatives across the country should be 
be alarmed at his candidacy because I don't think he's a real conservative. I think he's pulling the wool over our eyes, and I think we'll be very sorry that he'll be the consummate deal maker, and he'll be worse than anything we've got in Washington. You just wait. Okay, then he's in the lead by being anti-establishment, so now you act like establishment when I know Rand Paul is an establishment. And, and six, seven months ago, he was the main guy they were attacking. So I'm like, oh, Rand Paul's the guy. The mainstream media is attacking him, see? But now he's, he's gone back the other way to get on all these TV shows, which all he's doing is shooting himself in the foot when people see him on CNN or MSNBC attacking Trump. They go, oh, my gosh, I hate Rand Paul. I mean, I just, uh, I just don't get what he's thinking. Well, Alex, you know, I just read an article this morning where Trump was explaining how our nation has descended away from the Constitution in an awful way. Uh, and as a result of that, we've become the nation that we've become that he wants to make great again. And he, he pointed out, Alex, that the, uh, he, he's a builder. And, and one of the main traits of building buildings is engineering like unto physics. And that there are certain laws within the building of a structure that will last and will be beautiful uh, that must be adhered to, otherwise the whole thing will collapse. And he pointed, he used that example of how he has stayed within the law of building properties as we ought to stay within the confines of the Constitution. He understands that blueprint. Yeah, he does. And so for Rand Paul to call him a power-greedy narcissist is just below the pale. It, it, nothing could be further from the truth. He understands that blueprint accurately. Well, I've actually talked to a lot of folks that know Trump behind the scenes, and they say that it's been a process of awakening for him, and he said that. He said, hey, just a few years ago, I was busy building things and building golf courses and hotels. Right. He right. said, I didn't realize it was this bad. I mean, I used to work in this corrupt system. I admit it's all a big joke. I want to change that. And, and, and look, what we know is this. Rand, be like your dad. This is up on Infowars.com. Ron Paul is great father. Dr. Paul, Congress is writing the president a blank check for war. The legislation makes the unconstitutional Iraq war authorization of 2002 look like a walk in the park. It says geographically Obama or the next president in perpetuity until it's repealed can just attack anybody they want, any country, uh, boots on the ground, including America. This is giving martial law powers to the executive branch and Congress handing over its war powers uh, authority, just like it's done with its money to the Federal Reserve. I mean, this is such a big deal. And again, here's his dad, one of the only people criticizing it. We were doing it last week, thank God. And so we ought to just hear from Rand Paul on Obama is being given war powers uh, that only Hitler had. And we're not Germany, folks, in 1939. I mean, this is dangerous, dangerous. We have not seen the proof that Donald Trump is a, is a man on a white horse, Napoleon Bonaparte. We know Hillary and Jeb and Obama are bad news. We know that. Yeah. And, I, you know, I, I think that we haven't seen the last of Obama. It, 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 not hardly have we seen the last of him. That was my next question. What do you, because you really predicted, uh, I mean, you proved me wrong about how, I mean, I thought Obama would be bad, but nothing like this. What do you think he'll do in his last 11 months? Well, you know, he has, he has so far, he has been able to take away most of our liberties, been able to put us asleep uh, and to pit us against one another to open up this nation to immorality and destruction, it's very little left for him to do except for martial law and to try to maintain some sense of power within the office. And I'm watching very carefully what's stay happening. Stay there, sir. Stay there when we come back. We'll, we'll get into that. And then for 20 minutes the next hour, take calls. Also have a clip of Louis Farrakhan um, that I want to play for you where he agrees with Trump on not letting radical Muslims in. Here's the headline. Cruise stock falls in prediction markets. Attack Trump, you start falling. Why'd you do that? Because they got these advisors in there that think they know everything. These politicos never did anything in their life who are still dialed into the old system that is like Confederate money after the Civil War. It's good to light the oven with. It's good to light the fire with. It's good for birdcage liner or to wipe your butt in the outhouse with. I mean, the establishment is going out of style. And... Instead, they push this corpse Hillary on us who's having coughing fits in public and looks like she's about to die. Uh, we've got all this craziness happening. We've got Obama running around on constant vacations. 
uh, and we've got him going after the guns with executive power. The Republicans trying to hand him total power because they want it when they get a Republican.